All right, TM Nation, what you're looking at are the Hakate GX07 True Wireless Gaming Earbuds. I've had my pair for about two weeks now, and for a pair of gaming earbuds, they're extremely versatile. In terms of the specs and the general earbud design, these remind me a lot of the Neobuds Pro earbuds that I did a video on not too long ago. And that's largely due to the fact that Hakate is owned by Edifier, but there are differences in between the two that make the Hakates a little bit nicer, in my opinion. At the time of the video, you can get the GX07s for about 85 bucks on sale and at that price these are going to give you active noise cancelling you're getting a low latency gaming mode these do feature a transparency mode and you can also get up to 26 hours worth of total use when you factor in the charging case but as for the unboxing experience it's pretty straightforward you get everything you would expect to get you get your user manual and documentation a usb type c cable for charging you get a nice little carrying bag that you can throw the case in two sets of different sizes sized ear tips so you can see which ones fit in your ears the best and last but certainly not least you have your GX07 true wireless earbuds along with the charging case first taking a look at the design of the case it definitely looks good in my opinion it stands out with the LED lights and it gives me those Star Trek gaming vibes the way that the case opens is also pretty cool in my opinion it does have two separate doors that you can open independently if you want to keep one earbud in the case and use the other. I also like the fact that the LED lights on the outside of the case will pulse for a while when you open or close it. But keep in mind guys, these lights are not just for show, they will also show you the case's charging status. If you ever want to know how much charge is left on it, all that you have to do is open up one or both of the doors on the case and then the lights will flash. If the case has less than 10% of a charge left on it, the lights will flash red. If you have anything above 10%, they will flash flash once, twice, or three times in a light blue teal color depending on how much battery is left. Now like I said earlier in the intro, you can get up to 26 hours of total use when you factor in the extra charges that the case will give you. That number though is going to be achieved without using ANC. If you choose to use ANC on the whole time, you're going to get about 5 hours worth of use on a single charge along with about an extra 3 charges in the case if you use the earbuds without. ANC, you're going to get about six and a half hours worth of use on a single charge and you'll also get about three charges in the case. So far, I've been using the earbuds with ANC on pretty much the whole time and I'm averaging about five hours and 27 minutes on a single charge using them between 50 and 75 percent of the max volume most of the time. But if battery life is your main concern, it is worth noting that these do feature quick charging with only 15 minutes in the case, giving you about two hours worth of use with the earbuds, which is pretty respectable in my opinion. Now there is one feature that I would have liked to see at this price point that you do not get with these earbuds, and that is wireless charging with the case. But besides that, like I said, I do like the design of the case. It's a good size, it's not too large to throw in a pocket, and taking the looks into consideration, I have to say that this is probably the coolest looking case that I own right now. Moving on to the design of the earbuds, as you can see, they do have the stems, and like I mentioned earlier, they remind me a lot of the Neobuds Pros. They're not too long or too short, they make it pretty easy to put the earbuds in and take them out of my ears. Now, if being discreet is your thing, these may not be the perfect choice for you, as they are going to stick out some, especially with the stems. But for me personally, they feel fine in my ears. I have worn them for hours at a time without getting any ear fatigue, discomfort, or anything of that nature. They never feel overly large or overly heavy in my ears. But one area where these didn't do the greatest for me was when I used them for exercise. They did slide around quite a bit once I started sweating. They did okay while I was walking and even on a light jog, but once I started jumping rope and the sweat started flowing, I did have have to reposition them a few times to keep them from falling out. One good thing about the design though is that they do have an IP54 dust and water resistance rating so at no point in time while I was sweating did they malfunction. But as always I did do my water test by spraying water all around the earbuds just to see how they would react while being wet. Let's take a look at what happened.
Relative to the amount of sound leakage that you'll get with these earbuds, they are going to leak some sound like most true wireless earbuds do, but I don't think it's that bad considering how loud they get. The way that they are designed seems to do a pretty good job of pushing most of whatever you're listening to directly down into your ears, but as always, I did do my leakage test so that you guys can judge for yourselves. Let's take a listen. Touching on the Bluetooth connection that I've had with these earbuds so far, I've had no issues maintaining a stable connection with either my iPhone 13 Pro or my Pixel 6. I have watched quite a few YouTube videos, some Amazon Prime movies, and through those apps, everything seemed to be pretty synced up. I also did play some Call of Duty Mobile on both of those devices, and even without the low latency gaming mode turned on, the game was definitely still playable, but again, there was a slight bit of latency there that that I could pick up on. For casual players, this won't be an issue, but if you're a hardcore mobile gamer, you're gonna wanna toggle on the gaming mode because that makes everything pretty much instant. While I'm on the topic of the gaming mode, I kinda wanna stop and talk about the Edifier app because the interface that you get with the app for the GX07s is gonna be different from what you're used to with other Edifier earbuds. As you can see for the GX07s, the app is gonna have that same gaming vibe to it. It does have the basics you can see the charge left on both of your earbuds but you cannot see the charge left on the case you do have the ability to toggle on anc or your transparency mode and with the transparency you have different levels of strength that you can choose from which is always nice besides that directly through the app you can toggle on or off the gaming mode access the user manual while you're on the go adjust the sound level of the prompts that you get through the earbuds toggle wear detection on or off and you can also select the the sensitivity of your touch controls. Speaking of the touch controls, they have worked well for me so far. I haven't had any issues getting them to pick up my feedback. But I have to say this is one area where these earbuds don't quite hit the mark for me. You don't have all of your playback controls and on top of that you cannot even customize them through the app. The only things that you can choose from the earbuds are your different listening modes which are normal, gaming, music, you have ambient mode, and you have ANC as well. Well, besides that, you can hang up and pick up calls, you can track forward, and you can also pause and play your music, but that's it. Unfortunately, with these, you cannot track back or control your volume. Now, moving on to two areas where these earbuds have impressed me in is in the transparency and ANC modes. As I mentioned earlier, with the transparency mode, you can select the strength, and at the highest level, I can hear what's going on around me really well. During my testing, I found that if somebody was having Having a conversation within about a five foot radius of me, I could usually pick up what was being said pretty clearly. And as for the ANC, I did my normal testing outside on my balcony in the evening time when a lot of the neighborhood kids were outside playing. During my testing, I think they did a decent to good job of getting rid of noises such as light talking, buzzing, and humming. Now louder sounds such as yelling, screaming, booms, and bangs did get through, but like I said, those humming and buzzing type sounds pretty much went away. So now that we have gotten most of the specs and features of the GX07s out of the way, let me go ahead and touch on the sound quality and how they have performed for me so far. First things first guys, I have to say I'm not that thrilled that I do not even have the option through the app to create my own EQ or even adjust the bands of the built-in EQs. But as for the modes that you do get here, I almost always have the earbuds set to ANC mode to my ear in this sound mode you get the most well-rounded sound you get that deep and punchy bass with some nice highs and mids I would say that the overall sound signature is gonna be on the brighter side with there being a slight emphasis on the highs and the bass in ANC mode I am telling you if you're a bass head these will not disappoint you I have been using these for about two weeks now and no matter what I was listening to I was able to enjoy it and I never felt like I was missing out on any of the frequencies Yes, these are marketed towards gamers, but I am telling you the specs, the features, and the sound quality that you get with these earbuds make them a great pair of everyday buds. Concerning the call quality, these have a total of four mics, 
two in each earbud and I think that they do a decent to good job of focusing on your speech and rejecting some of your ambient noise. But as always, I did take a call quality sample for you guys to judge for yourselves. Let's take a listen. All right guys, so right now I have the GX07s paired to my iPhone 13 Pro. As you can see, the audio that you're hearing is coming directly from the microphones on the earbuds. I'm not gonna do any editing to this audio and I also have my heater on in the background. I did leave it on for this test so that we can see how well these earbuds block out that sound and focus on my speech. So taking everything into consideration guys, I think that these are a solid pair of all around earbuds for anyone who wants a low latency mobile gaming experience but also wants to be able to use their earbuds for other purposes. Yes, they do lack full playback controls, wireless charging with the case and some features that I would have liked to see in the companion app but besides that you're not missing out on much with these earbuds they even support the LHDC codec for those of you with compatible devices before you get on out of here if you rock with the channel and your boy tech mo hit that subscribe button and knock that notification bell out so you won't miss any of my uploads welcome to TM Nation peace